As we saw in the early days of ARM, you know, because of when Linux starts supporting ARM, it makes it more power efficient. Is there any kind of, you know, benefits that the rest of the Linux world is enjoying because of the work on mainframe? Yeah, absolutely. Sustainability has been a huge source of messaging for the latest Linux One release. Um, and part of that is around consolidation of workloads. Um, there's a commercial from like long ago um, that IBM did called Heist, and it's it was done I think early 2000s, and it was it was all about like server consolidation. Like where did all my x86 servers go? And they're like, oh, they just went to one mainframe. And I, I'm I'm pushing. I'm like, I'm like we're like we sh we should remake that commercial for today because the story is still true. Because on certain workloads, you can take a lot of those x86 racks and just condense the workloads onto an IBM Z system. Or Linux One machine. This is going to be a personal question. That with all the you know, shiny, glossy technologies, why you chose mainframe? What attracted you towards mainframe? <laughs> Have you seen them? They're beautiful and glossy and shiny. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I admit I was a little skeptical when when I first started talking to IBM about about coming to work on mainframe. But I think for me, it was. Um, I've always been somewhat interested in other architectures. Um, so, I mean, I still play around with ARM and RISC-V, and I still have a Spark system in my home office. So I've always had sort of the interest in the other architectures that are out there. But I also was interested in what value it could bring. Like, in a world where there are all these x86 servers, why do we have these ones, and why have they remained relevant? Um, in fact, in a market that's growing, even. So that was just fascinating for me to me from just a general level, but also a technical level, just being able to work on something that I might not necessarily have ever touched before. <laughs> um, so I've learned a tremendous amount. I joined IBM in 2019, um, so it's been five years now, and I've learned a lot, and it's it's been really fascinating technology, and I've also gotten to do some little side quests and geeking out about the hardware. And um, I was at, a, at one of our t test facilities in Poughkeepsie, New York, a couple of weeks ago. And I got to hold one of the chips in my hand. And I got to hold the giant heat sink that goes on the air-cooled ones. And just a general technical curiosity and interest in just seeing what else is out there is what brought me to the technology initially and has kept me there.